Let's make a nice dark open area on this record to see what that sounds like when I go to play it. Easiest way is to block out the areas I don't want to etch and put it on the hot plate. Move this situation over to the spray paint booth where we apply our aqua tint, which will just give it some tooth in the acid and it will be a nice dark gray color when it comes out. As I continue to work and print this plate, I want some variation in each print. Doing this for science after all, trying out different textures and see how they ruin the needle on my record player, one texture at a time. Onto the ink, we're going to use Payne's gray again just because I think it looks a little better than the warm black did the other day. And I think this is significant enough of a step to play this again. I think it's going to sound real nasty when it hits that dark part, but what do you think? Let me know.